This is Justin from Basic Means Painting. I hope you're all doing very, very well today. Right. As you all know in my previous video, I ordered some stuff. There's some coming soon to my channel. It has arrived. Like a child with a new toy, really, aren't we? Right. Um, we're just going through my one by one, and I shall do a review of one of them. I'll just... Right. First off, I ordered these, the Perry Miniatures. And 38 figures. You get 30... 36 figures to casualties and I'll do a proper review of this in a later video but I had a quick look very very impressive I've never ordered Perry miniatures before and the level of detail is beyond so really happy with these that's one which has arrived down there I'm like a child with a new toy I'm sorry I've got my <coughs> Morph and Perry miniatures, Napoleonic Prussian Infantry. Again, you get 46 figures for, I think that's like £17.5, I think £18 English. But very, very happy with these. I've painted um, King's German Legion before. But these, very happy with as well. So these will be reviewed in another video. I also ordered some Waffen SS. And these are by Wall of Games, Bolt Action. And 30 figures. And I've gone through it, had a quick look, and again, fantastic moulds. Really, really top quality. The only thing I'm a bit concerned about is the size of the transfers. Um, I'll just show you what I mean. I'll just quickly get it out and I should quickly show you because this is supposed to be a review of something else. If I can find the... Um, one second. See them? Yes, that's it. Close how to get to the camera. That's the size of the transfers. It's going to be different. It's going to be, yes, a challenge. But, I'm up for the challenge. I'm going to put them back in there. Right, sorry about that. It's not a day inside about the transfers. I'm actually looking forward to it. It's going to be very fiddly. So expecting, if I film it, expect some swear words. And then like, yeah, really looking forward to doing these. Simply because, like I said in my previous video, previous video, the cam the um, camouflage. But enough about them three boxes. We're going to be reviewing my cavemen. Now the reason why I got these is because they were going cheap. So as you can see, six quid for three models. You're talking two quid each. They're metal miniatures, but let's have a proper look at how I review. Right, here we are. Right, I'll just move this across a little bit. There you go. Right, so this is Wall Games Savage Core 28mm Pulp Adventures and the Earth's Core Neanderthals. Now, lucidi.co.uk, a range of Highly detailed 28mm pulp figures from the hyperactive imagination sculptor Steve Salah. So let's open it up. I've got the camera balanced on my chest. So you don't, that's just literally that piece of paper. So ignore that. Standard three bases. War games. Oh, sorry. All games. So just standard three bases. One, two, three. We'll get rid of this lot. Right, I should do this one handed now. There you go. Right. These are the sculpts. And as you can see, the level of detail. It's just the grisly look on this on his face or her face. 
his face when you're falling. It's the first time of myself. I had a quick, literally quick look when they arrived um, a few days ago. A few bits of flash, just like here sort of thing, and mould lines just there. You've got a little bit where the axe, bottom of the axe goes. On along this line of the axe handle. But this really, really well sculpted, especially for metal miniatures. Like the simple loin I don't know what you call it, just like a tiger skin cloth or something, tiger skin bear, whatever you call it. But that's one. They are for metal miniatures they are quite heavy, so there you go. This one I like. You've got his spear sticking out way to grot some poor animal. Uh, you can see a little bit of mold uh, flash on there, just on the bottom of the handle. Nice grizzly look on his face. He's about to uh, stab someone. I know the people have said that I've said before. I'm going to into historicals more. Technically, they are, you know, very historical. Really well sculpted, like the sort of um, saber tooth tiger skin. Yeah, like bear skin or something. I don't know what sort of. Normally, you see like wolf pelts and stuff like that, but it's like a bear skin, I think. That's the second one. And here we have the third one. I like his club. <laughs> you can see the look on his face. I'm going to get him a bit closer. The look on his face is just like, I'm about to smack you, one boy. <laughs> I like that. I do like these miniatures. Sorry. I like the club. The club looks cool. Again, this is probably going to be really simple to paint. You're going to go with a dark skin tone. Obviously, natural wood for the club. Uh, hair, probably a dirty brown sort of look. Then you could just got the clothing, the wearing the skins and the animal skins. That will probably be this one. When it's got his waist, will be a different colour to that. Because that, that looks like the underside of the of a pelt. He's got neatly folded over. Rather well dressed, Kay, man. But yes, that's the miniatures. Really, really nice miniatures. For the three you get, two, three, just, oops, sorry. There you go, sorry. For the three you get, I think really well sculpted, really well designed. I'm going to be a joint paint. So, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. As I said before, if you've got any questions at all, that's better. Sorry, it's going to annoy, it's going to annoy me. If you've got any questions at all, just um, stick them in the comments below. And let's just see you soon. Bye.